When art comes to the community, people have a chance to show off their talents and creativity. When art comes to community living in Burlington, it provides an opportunity to express oneself, develop new skills, and find a new interest for lifelong enjoyment. We have started our um, new program called this Community Living Burlington Art Garden. And so what that entails is um, three components. So for now, so what we're starting with is a portrait portrait picnic tables. And all 12 of our picnic tables that are outside are gonna have beautiful, bright, paintings on them and the paintings are going to be done by people that we support and by our staff and management team as well. It's going to be a real collaborative effort. This project is also being overseen by Heather Dion who is our in-house um, art teacher. The second project that we're doing is a Forever Fly project. So we have everybody that we support along with our staff and our management. They'll be painting some butterflies and all the butterflies will be hung up all around the gardens in the back of Mainway. And this project we think will be an ongoing project. So for years to come, if somebody wants to paint a butterfly on behalf of somebody or if they're moved by a certain cause, um, they, can, they can come to the main way or do it at their home, paint a butterfly and we'll hang it up in our garden and it'll be forever there. And then the other project that we're doing is a fresh start with art. We've started last year painting the exterior of our buildings with a beautiful mosaic pattern. Um, so we're finishing that this year. So we're gonna be doing the, um, the panel above our main entrance and also um, we're finishing the side of our building here. So when people drive by our building, they're gonna see how beautiful it is and that we care about our building. We care about the people we support um, and their families as well. Yeah, absolutely. There will be um, definitely a sense of pride. There always is when we make things and we display them. It's really important to show what we make. So this is going to be a, um, yeah, like an actual art gallery among a garden. Um, it's something that everyone can enjoy. They will be, uh, Heather, or who you talked to, will be putting a top coat on uh, these and once that's dry, um, I believe it needs about a week to, to, to cure. And then once that's up, um, they're put up on the, the side of the building. Yeah. Well, you know, everything comes from the people that we support. Um, that's why we're here. They are integral in making this place run. And why not have their creativity be part of that, right? Um, I think it also shows the community by showing the art on the outside of the building that we're here, uh, we're part of our community, and it stands out, which is, which is pretty, pretty neat. We're currently at uh, the Wedgwood Home uh, with Community Living Burlington, which is uh, the program is part of the Enhanced SIL, uh, which is in, uh, Enhanced Supported Independent Living. And there's uh, several gentlemen that uh, live at this home uh, quite independently. However, we do have staff come in uh, typically uh, every day of the week, but for shorter hours, uh, Monday through Friday is a little bit longer, eight hours, and on the weekend for a couple of hours. They, they do their own things here, and they have uh, jobs, and uh, you know, and we're here just to help them, you know, get through some of those things if, uh, if they need support. Fortunately, with the help of our community, the United Way, we were able to get computers and tablets for people. We were able to get everybody online and since then, we really have seen the people we support flourish. The online programming that they provided is world class. It allows their clients to see their friends when they otherwise wouldn't be able to, but it's more than that. It's music, it's learning, it's everything that you would totally hope that it would be. The best funny programming is to see all our friends. That's right, because it's very lonely when you can't go out and see people. So it was really helpful. It was great. So we got funding from the United Way of Halton and Hamilton um, to create this uh, Virtual Buddies program and it's basically to promote meaningful connections to people we support in the community. So we do one-on-one -on -one matches with volunteers and placement students or anybody who's interested to um, contribute. Yeah. COVID has definitely impacted fundraising quite a bit over the last year and a half. 
um, we have not been able to run our two major signature events in person. Uh, so our walk and roll, as well as our community living's got talent, um, those were not able to be in person for the last uh, couple of years. So with walk and roll, we were able to move it virtually and it was a huge success. Um, so that was, that was really great. We had a lot of support from the community, um, the programs and, and all of our community were able to do a walk around Burlington um, and still celebrate Community Living Month. So that was great. However, we were not able to uh, run Community Living's Got Talent for the last two years in 2020 and 2021. So we are hopeful that next year we'll be able to uh, bring it back for the community to see how special everybody is. I look back at what we've done over the last 18 months and even though it seems like it's been 10 years, it has only been 18 months. And our staff and the people we support and our volunteers in our community, they really have acted as a team and they really have shown that they'll get through it and I think once this is all over, we'll see that it just has added strength to the agency and hopefully we'll just continue to get better and better. We creatively believe we are CLB, we create